Hi Amanda Armstrong, welcome to the back office. Just a quick one, I'm doing a, a job, you can see my hands are dirty. Just uh, installing a camera in a car and uh, I didn't have a fuse tap, you know, to split the fuses. And the fuse in the car for the lighter was actually blown, so I didn't have any mini fuses either, or micro, whatever you call this. So I had one of these, so what I thought I'll do is just solder it here and then solder onto there the uh, jumper wires I need to go to my uh, video camera. So it's cute, it's a cute way of doing it I think and uh, I know it's making it a little bit more difficult when the car, if the car ever blows the fuse again, um, but I'm hoping it won't. I mean how often really have you ever blown a lighter fuse in a car? I mean it's pretty damn rare really. So uh, that's how I'm going to handle it right now and it's, it's one of my own cars really in the family so to speak so it's not like I'll have a problem in the future. I'll know what I'm doing. So that could be a neat solution. So I'm putting plenty of solder on because I'm going to want to solder onto these. Oh, should have waited. Should have waited for that to just sort of... Oh, that's really hot actually. <laughs> Let me get my tweezers. Yeah, should have waited for that to solidify before uh, playing with it. Obviously a blob that big is going to hold a lot of heat. But let's try again. Oh, it's a bit dirty now. But, uh, shouldn't affect its functionality. So I don't know what blew the fuse originally, it's, a, it's, it's one of those mystery things, but maybe one of the kids might have shoved a key in the lighter socket or something like that. Oh, I just won't learn, will I? I just don't learn. Have a look while I'm playing with this. Camera's not going to want to focus on that because it's going to want to focus on the bench. So I'm going to try again to get a nice tinned fixture on that one. And then, a bit of patience this time. Yes, it looks like it has hardened. And that one again, the same thing. See, that's just the edge there of the fuse. So, God, I've got a lot of contamination in here. It's just full of crap now. That's fine though, it'll do. So, what I'll do is basically when I'm in the car, if the camera would like to focus. They don't like to focus this close up, do they? Messes with them. So what I'm gonna do is just, I've got my um, dash cam uh, AC adapter, DC to DC rather adapter, with its two trailing wires. I'm gonna solder the trailing wires onto their wrap of insulation tape, plug that in. Therefore this fuse is taking care of the lighter portion is bridging there but it's kind of also taking care of the dash cam but the dash cam's got its own fuse anyway in line so yeah it's fine it's gonna be good enough there's the danger of course that you might exceed uh, a rating um, for the whole circuit I don't I don't think it's gonna be a problem so yeah try that if you've if you've run out of mini micro whatever these small size fuses are and you've only got those you can make your own bit big but at least it's easy to get out in the future and you'll recognize it as ever Thank you for watching.